Hmm. Um. Oh! Wolfagoy! Hmm. Ah! So so! <laughs> You want Easter? Well today we'll be making the ultimate rabbit themed gaming Easter egg. Freezer Bunny Popsicles from The Sims 3. Since it's really hard to find a mould the right shape, we're going freehand. So you'll just need a template, link in the description, covered with some non-stick paper, like baking paper. We're kind of working in reverse here, so start by melting a little bit of dark chocolate for the details like the eyes and the mouth. For the ears, cheeks and nose, I just dyed a little bit of plain yoghurt pink with some red food colouring. And then I also added a little bit of cocoa powder just to make it a bit darker. And by added, I mean threw all over the counter. Then you can start adding your chocolate decorations using a toothpick. Once that's done, you can start adding your pink yoghurt mixture. I used a teaspoon along with the toothpick to get a bigger blob that I was still able to control. Then you can move on to the details, like the cheeks and the nose. By now, the chocolate should have started to set, so you can start adding the plain yoghurt for the eyes. I just put the yoghurt in a little plastic bag so I could squeeze a dollop and spread out with the toothpick. Just be careful not to touch the middle, otherwise you might move the chocolate. Then put everything in the freezer for about 30 minutes. Whilst your decorations are chilling, we can start making the ice pop mixture. You'll need to add 3 sliced frozen bananas and about 200 grams of strawberries to a food processor. This should give you the nice pink colour of a freezer bunny. I then added the juice of two lemons to give it a bit of sharpness and a bit of milk and that will help it all blend together. To help it along with the sweetness, I added a bit of vanilla extract and a squeeze of golden syrup. There's no exact measurements here, just add to taste. Now your decoration should have chilled enough so you can start to add your ice pop mixture. I put it on in a piping bag with a small round tip. Make sure it's not too small, otherwise bits of strawberry will get stuck in it. I used a piece of kitchen roll to hold onto the piping bag. This stopped the ice cream from melting. Remember to keep your ice cream mixture in the freezer whenever you're not using it. Once you've filled in the whole shape, add some sticks. I didn't have any popsicle sticks, so I just used some cake pop sticks. Then put in the freezer for about another 30 minutes. Then you can repeat with another layer to secure those sticks. Then put back in the freezer to chill. Once it's firmed up a bit, we're going to add another dollop of white yogurt for the tail. At this point, you can also neaten up some of the edges of the rabbit since it won't be runny anymore, but it's not completely set. Just run your finger around the edge and remove any excess. Then you're done. So put everything in the freezer and leave for at least eight hours. Overnight's best. These are a really cute and actually healthy alternative to an Easter egg. And ever since the Sims 3 pets came out, I've wanted one of these. But I feel like all these years of waiting has given me chance to master the true art of freezer bunny popsicle eating. I think you'll want to eat the arms first because they'll melt quickest. Oh. Come on, you can't just hang around in freezers for 12 years and not expect to get eaten. Thanks for watching. To check out my last video, click right here. And to see my next video, click over here. And don't forget to leave any suggestions for future videos in the comments. Bye.